Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today I want to talk about a fragrance that I was wearing last week. That is Prada's La Om. And uh, this was just a 1.5 ml sample that I had gotten off of eBay. Here's the bottle. Inside the card, a fragrance of pears, like a game of olfactory mirrors. Neroli and pepper, amber and iris, violet and geranium, cedar and patchouli. Juxtapose in this airy, sensual, and quintessentially Prada mix. So this is a fragrance that was released back in 2016, and it is classified as a woody chypre. And the notes listed at Fragrantica, top notes of neroli and pepper, middle notes of iris, amber, violet, and geranium, and in the base we have patchouli and cedar. So... If you're familiar with the Prada fragrance line, you know that uh, I believe most of the fragrance fall into one of two groups. There's the Luna Rosa series, and uh, I have some samples of Luna Rosa, which I do find to be probably one of their better fragrances. And then there's some flankers of Luna Rosa, which I didn't really care for. Then you have this Prada Ohm line of fragrances, and most of those fragrances are some variation of like a soapy iris type scent, and that's basically what this is as well. Um, you definitely get that unmistakable Prada Iris Accord here. So it does uh, have a bit of that soapiness to it. Uh, to me, it doesn't really smell like soap so much. It just kind of smells like a very clean, freshly pressed white shirt. Imagine going to like a rich man's home and uh, you open up the closet in his bedroom and there's like 50 uh Fresh white shirts, all Brooks Brothers, um, you know, clean, hanging there. And you take a big whiff of the uh, shirts, and this is what, what they should smell like, or you would hope they would smell like, kind of like a nice, clean, slightly floral, you know, freshly pressed, clean smell. So, yeah, if that's what you're looking for, this one's a pretty good one. Um it does remind me a bit of Prada Amber Pour M. You can see it also has that amber accord in there. So it's kind of a sweet, slightly citrusy iris scent. Don't really get a defined neroli here, but there is a little bit of a citrusy smell here. Probably adds to the floral nature as well. So floral, clean, um, fresh laundry smell. The iris, you know, it just gives it that white business shirt, tie, suit, dress pants, kind of a feel to it. Professional, great scent for uh, businessmen, I think, you know, Wall Street type people. The main problem here is that it isn't really all that different from some of the other Prada fragrances in that line. Uh, this one, I think, is a little bit less uh, in your face. It, it does kind of linger, but it's not a real strong scent. I didn't get any feedback or comments on this one when I was wearing it at work. Um, but I can maybe see if you thought Prada Amber was a bit much, you know, maybe the, the Amber Accord was a bit much. Maybe this tones it down a little bit. So you might want to check this one out, see what you think. If you're into that type of smell, the Amber and the, the Iris. Um I thought it was okay, but it didn't, like, wow me or anything. I probably won't rush out and buy a bottle of this one. Um, you know, I'm a hospital tech kind of a guy working in x-ray. doesn't really suit that uh, type of image, I don't think. You know, I don't wear, you know, a dress shirt to work. I wear scrubs. So not really my type of fragrance. And I've never really been a big iris person. You know, this doesn't really change my mind about iris. I think I might like it a little bit better than some of the other fragrances from that Prada ohm line but uh probably not enough to really rush out and buy it so let me give my final thoughts on this one the smell seven out of ten it's a pretty nice smell not great or anything but it's nice um if you're looking for something kind of a soapy iris type scent i could actually see women wearing this as well there's nothing really here that jumps out to me as being overly masculine and a little patchouli here but the patchouli here is pretty understated so i think uh men and women could wear this one uh, performance, longevity, um, 7 out of 10. It gets pretty light pretty quick, but uh, I can smell it on myself. So if you're just looking for a fragrance that you can smell on yourself, but not necessarily one that's going to turn heads and get uh, people asking you what you're wearing, this is a good choice for that. 
the versatility, 7 out of 10. I think you can wear this one year-round, but I think this one definitely screams spring and summer because of the floral nature of the iris and the neroli. Price point, uh, $78 for 1.7 ounce, $98 for the 3.4. So um, a bit pricey right now. It might drop as uh, the fragrance sits on the shelves a little bit and goes to the uh, secondhand uh, market. But for now, I think it's a bit pricey. Overall, you can give this one a 6.5 out of 10 because the price point, you know, lack of uniqueness because it smells so much like a lot of the other Pradas out there. Um it's a nice choice if you're just looking for a singular fragrance from the Prada line, specifically the Amber line, the or the Prada Ohm line that kind of gives that soapy iris smell. Uh, I still think I like Luna Rosa a bit better at this point. I would probably buy that one full bottle before this one, but uh, you know this one, you know, definitely a great choice for the businessman out there. So those are my thoughts on Prada's Loam. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.